Hello there, hope you are doing fine. I created a simple expander, for the Time Safari Mark 1. This new expander, lets you control the switches with external signal. And today, I want to share this with you. I'll also give you the proper information, if any of you want to build up your own. But first, let's do some simple patching. While I shut my mouth and switch to subtitle mode, for a more clever, demonstration. Those inputs, are bringing even more fun, to this unobtainable discontinued module. Let's try another simple patch, but this time we will focus on gates and triggers. Using gates and triggers with this expander will bring more rhythm to those glitches. Let's try just one more last patch before I explain some details for this expander. Let's try something different. Ha! This sample of a person eating a delicious ice cream will be perfect.
Okay. Now it's time to share some tips. The secret behind this simple expander lies in this little IC. It's an array of transistors, commonly used. It's a ULN 2003A. And you'll need two of them. You'll need a couple of jacks, some wires, and soldering equipments. I took some prototyping panels to place all the components. And if you ever managed to do some DIY, you probably already own all this junk. But before you venture into the creation of this expander, I'd like to mention that nobody, except yourself, will be responsible if you messed up with your precious time safari, not even industrial music electronics. Be very careful, or join with someone more advanced than you in the DIY world. It's a very simple and easy expander to build, and no direct modification to the module will be made. You should be able to find this part, and the schematics, without any trouble. Let's have a quick look. The 8th pin must absolutely be connected to the ground. The pins on the left, will receive the voltages, from the gates and triggers. Each time a trigger will be received, the proper output will get connected to the ground, which is exactly what the original expander does, but with manual switches. Each proper legs of the IC are related from one side, to the other. One IC contains only 7 transistors, so you will need two of this IC if you want to have all 8 inputs working. Be sure not to send any incoming CV directly to the module. So take all your input sockets, and connect the ground to the proper pin of the jacks. Then you should connect the jacks to the pins of the IC. To avoid modifying the time safari, you should use a ribbon cable to connect your new expander, to the unit. And then connect the pins of the right side of the IC, to the connector. It should look, something similar to this beautiful, but, practical expander. I'll be pleased to help, if any of you got some questions, so don't hesitate to ask. I hope this was helpful, and that you will share your patch and ideas. Time to say goodbye, and see you next time. I'll leave you with this little glitchy droning, all made with the time safari of course. So remember, to share your hatred to Teddy, in the comments below.